G'day, let's play some more Hearts of Iron as the Danish in our Bloodbath campaign. We are looking pretty good. Apparently the Soviets are moving guys to the Finnish border, maybe? Sure, whatever. Uh, it's looking good down here. We're at war with Hungary, so that's why they're getting a little sidetracked. Romania, Bulgaria never become communist, do they? Very fascist. Hopefully he doesn't join the Axis, because we don't want the Russians to be too distracted. So, we hold Berlin, we hold, well, all of the North Coast. Danzig, apparently, is his capital. It's weird. Alright, what's the actual German capital now? Not Luxembourg, not Bern, Vienna. It's worth 30, okay. Right, we are pushing on Warsaw first. So we're going to take the river part. Where are you taking logs? Where are the others stuck in there? Okay. Well, in that case, since we're on this side of the river, we need to help the Russians come down. We can head down to Breslau after that. Maybe just make a run th through Bruno into Vienna. As all these pockets of Germans get destroyed by the Russians. Holding the line there, hopefully they don't push forward towards the Allies. Looks like the Germans have actually pushed them back. Okay, so there's got to be a lot of Germans in this area then. But green across the front until we hit this sort of area. And we're going to lose the battle for Warsaw. Alright, cancel that. Come down. Wait for them to leave. As soon as they're out. Start this push again. Who the hell is that? Soviet. Must be Xinjiang or someone there. Alright, give us Warsaw because we want the participation. <coughs> 37 point two. Oh yeah, 5% just for taking that. Okay. Next problem. The Soviets need to come and defend it, so we'll wait a bit. German troops marching around. Uh, we probably should have cut them off. <coughs> Alright, forget Warsaw. <clears throat> Assume the Russians will come in. There we go. Good. Got defenders there. We can cut them off so they stop marching past, then this encirclement will do a lot of damage to the Germans. That's going to be a complete failure though. We go sit back in Warsaw, let the Russians sort that out. And we should have a bunch of troops down here, six of them. <clears throat> Taking a crack at Vienna. I guess if you manage that. Let's actually pull half of them off. From here, you'll go to Bratislava and try and meet up in Vienna as well. Bratislava hopefully will force Slovakia to capitulate. Alright. He's wising up. You can take that. Hopefully, he's going directly to Vienna. River crossing against a light tank. Alright, you need to come this way. Do it without the river penalty. Good, Slovakia capitulated. Just in time. <clears throat> and then we should be able to take this easily enough. For some reason we're not getting supply from Bratislava. It's a different supply zone. And military factories. Okay, what else are we going to want? Can't do tanks, I guess. Jumping on the equipment. So we're barely out of steel. Alright, there we go. It turns green. We need Vienna. Germany is... We still have bloody hell. It's got a ton from Slovakia. Slovakia, Slovenia, Slovakia. Uh, more infantry equipment there. Now we do have a shortage issue. Let's get some more from the Soviets. Okay. 
you know, run into some severe issues here if we can't take them out quickly. So it was a bit of a gamble charging down there. Uh, losing troops. These guys won't be ready for a while. Let's get them in Jutland when they're done. They will join these guys. And yeah, the Russians are pushing closer to the Allied border. It's not something we want to have to deal with. It looks like this is not going to go well. It's retaken Bratislava. No shock there. It means we have no supply. And we're just going to be losing. Yep. Germans are going to surround us and just kill everybody here. over to this side of the river and can we rush a port anywhere they are way too far away wait till these guys get in come on lads all right we're all together never going to win that so we need to try and get supply from somewhere don't like our chances of Budapest. Might be able to get down to Zagreb. Then pushing into Italy. Probably won't work. Doubt we'll even survive long enough to get down there. These guys are regulars now though. Yeah, so he's going to keep throwing guys past there. Slowing them down. Alright, gives us reinforcement rate. Let's go for recovery rate and the rest of that goodness there. Oh, the Russians have actually caught up. That's surprising. I mean, we should have stayed there. Oh, too late now. More free military factories. Uh, let's keep upgrading infantry equipment. We're going to have to keep going. Although, attacking him. When's he get in? 12 hours. We won't be defending because we're so much slower. Let's try and get to Budapest instead. <clears throat> you have to do an assault across the river into an urban area. So, actually, at least get across the river before you attempt it. Alright, Russians are on the border of Vienna. If we'd stayed there, these guys would have been able to survive. Very unfortunate. So we need to head up towards the Russian front. Unless it's a miracle and he's not defending his capital. <clears throat> Alright, where are these three? Where are you? They're still sitting way behind the line over there. So they are going to come down here, jump across, and then attack Vienna. And yes. Well, I guess if the Russians take out the Haag, Rotterdam, and Eindhoven, at least these will capitulate to us instead of Germany. Hmm. Yeah. Nobody on the Finnish border. Not really. Well, he's got a... No, it's his fleet. Alright. Yeah, they're counter-attacking. Alright, there's our landing craft. Months too late. Thought we'd actually need them for this assault on Germany. Uh, German tanks. Mm, or... Uh, that's an extra year ahead. Let's just go for our night attack. And we can modify government. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. War economy we've already got. Export focus. Let's go for closed economy. Doesn't make any difference. Don't think we actually have enough. Holy crap. We got that steel surplus. Alright. Need oil, but we don't care about the convoys that we're making with it. And his counterattack did work. 
It's unfortunate, though, I guess. It means we're going to, well, go to Bratislava and then around, try and do Vienna. Try it again. These guys are now unable to attack. Even though it's not really an attack. It's annoying. Just push up there. Do it when you can. No idea where the rest of them are. Well, just these nine actually. Um, come down here and then attack Vienna. <coughs> yeah, losses along there now. Not going to do well against the Allies. The Allies are pushing back against Italy as well, so. The Axis is going to lose against both, and then it's going to be basically Russia against the Allies. We're going to fold here as soon as he realises he can attack us. These should be okay, hopefully. If our guys punch through first, that would actually be an encirclement on them. Losing the offensive to Bratislava. Let's cancel it. He's looking weak. Alright. I don't want to push while they're too strong. Taking this side of the river could only be good though. And apparently Bratislav is empty again. Not really. Cancel that. Alright, we'll just defend against his assaults while the Russian troops shore up the borders. Little pocket in here they can take care of. Actually losing the defense. But he has actually pinched off his supply over there. Hmm. Oh, uh, yep. Losses all along the line now. Russia's not handling this anymore. Alright, we'll keep defending here. And the others have sort of arrived. I think they lost all their assaults. Just getting these guys up and around. Yeah, he's got tons in Vienna. Alright, cancel that. Let's try and get them off our side of the river. Help the Russians come forward. Then try and find somewhere to cross. Alright, actually need to come down there. That's our river crossing into the forest. Nicely defensible. The Russians are still just trying to attack across the river. He is just going to have way too many troops in there. Alright, cancel that. If we could have got in there faster, it would have worked. So we'll try the same thing over here. Get in there quickly, it would be nice. Alright, we're across the river. Russia, come defend this. It's a bit easier to take Munich than Vienna. These guys would be better off just disbanding because they're just wasting our equipment and manpower. Alright, gonna keep pushing up the river, otherwise, the Russians are gonna keep being stupid. Alright, he's still trying to attack across. We're actually fighting over here now. Germans there, Dutch, French up there. Greece has capitulated. To Italy. Okay. Hmm. 
need Russian help here. He has one troop. Hmm. Not a fan. Need to come around, make sure that's taken. Then really need to try and get into Vienna. Alright, that's done. Tell him to march directly. Alright, got all these guys together now. That guy is still up in Copenhagen, so we don't want to accidentally grab him. Do this without these guys. Put them together in here. He's level 4, he's level 4. These guys get better. Um, bonuses, Urban Assault and Trickster, compared to this guy's defensive. Still really unfavorable to actually take this though. Apparently, because this guy Okay, get them in. These guys to cancel. Why are you trying to retreat into the enemy? Okay. Give that a go. Our defense here is working fine because we're in the forest. I don't like what's happening up here. Oh, Russia. Why'd you have to push over there? Alright, lots of green over that side. They've been pushed out of Transylvania, though. Alright, that's looking a lot better. Get through. Very little chance of taking Vienna. Unless everything we've got is thrown at it, which looks like it already is. Seven. Where are the rest? Over here. What are you doing over there? <clears throat> Alright, Vienna's ours. How's Germany feel about that? Uh, He's on 28. Crap. Um, well, the next issue is getting these guys back in the fight. I guess it's going to mean coming down there. And then around here. On the assumption that Russians will get more troops damn it, into Vienna. Should attack there instead. Mm. Now what's our average strength? 18%. going to win it, but it's going to take too long. Let's head up. See if he's got anybody in Graz. Surprised they haven't just destroyed them, actually. There's green in this whole area, so that's a good sign. He's reinforcing Graz. Low manpower? Not really. He probably hasn't killed them because he wants... No. There's really no reason not to kill them, is there? Because we're not resupplying them, so it's not using up our manpower or anything. Alright, these six. Push on the Japanese. And head down this way. The Russians tried to assault there with one guy. Brilliant move. Alright, I'm going to break these guys out in a second. They will move again over to Budapest. If we didn't have all these guys strategically going through there. Here we go. 
take a crack and just see who's over there. Take a while to get the supply working out that way. Try and hold the lines. Which would actually mean holding that. Screw this area. Alright, all the men got in pretty much instantly by the looks. The strength's up, they probably turn green. No. Yeah, it's still okay. Alright, that assault across the river is not going to work out for us though. So just defend here. Forge Vidinha. Hmm. All on the wrong side of the river still. Well, it's looking green across most of the line again. Okay. Modify the government with what? Close economy, war economy, service by requirement. You're going to stick on them for a while. High command. It's just naval stuff. Sure. Whatever. But it is looking much more in our favour again now. So, let's grab these guys. Get rid of their thing and make it easier to see where the front line is. We'll just do this. Okay, and they would be best used abandoning that altogether. I'm trying to take Bratislava, which would mean coming up here and pushing through that way. Okay, well, we'll take a short break here. When we come back, we will continue trying to force Germany to capitulate. So we'll probably actually move everybody over to this Munich front. But thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.